All right, welcome back to Drew Pearson Live. I'm joined now by a former Dallas Cowboy wide receiver. He wore number 81 when he was with the Dallas Cowboys. Heisman Trophy winner, Notre Dame grad, NFL great. That's him, the Rocket. Rocket Ismail's in the house. Happen, Drew brother? Pearson Live. Good to see you, man. Thanks for having me, man. It's great right on. You're looking good. How you feeling? Man, I'm feeling pretty good. I, uh, I recently, last week, my mother, she came to town for my, my son's graduation. And she unexpectedly passed away oh, during the, that, the day we were getting ready to go to the graduation. No oh, so I'm man. feeling kind of like a little coming yeah. out of that. Uh, been a hard last two weeks and everything. Wow. But um, I'm, I'm still thankful that uh, just have the, I'm enjoying friends more. I'm enjoying, it's, it's amazing how death can make you especially my mom, mm. it's uh, how it can make you really emphasize the things that are important yeah. as opposed to the things that we try to magnify and we put importance on things that really have no lasting uh, consequence, but we make them so bigger than it we should. Mm -hmm. So I'm really thankful for, for brothers like you. Yeah. I mean, people, a guy of your stature, I remember... Um, you know, there, when I first came to Dallas and I was trying to establish myself in the community, sometimes people need someone to co-sign for them or somebody to, to, to come befriend them. Sure. And then, you know, I would call you up, not even knowing mm -hmm. you, knowing of you, but not knowing you, and how you would come and whether it was an autograph or something that I was oh, doing, yeah. trying to raise money for some cause of, of some kind, you're always willing to help, um, always uh, treating me with love and respect whenever we would see mm -hmm. each other in the community. So for me, it's like I am very thankful that I can appreciate those things even more now. Yeah. Um, and so when you ask me how I'm doing, it's kind of like I saw when you were taping the, the segment about the show mm -hmm. when they were talking about Inside Out. It's interesting because I can feel the dynamic. I really want to see that movie, that Pixar movie, because I can feel the dynamic. It's like I'll think of my mother and the picture will come to my mind, and then an emotion will be released, and it will come to my heart. Yeah. And I could literally feel my heart, like, filling up. Wow. And then it will happen where I'll be somewhere, I'll start crying or something. But it will be very, like, therapeutic. Mm -hmm. And, and, and uh, it'll be, it's a blessing, really, yeah. the way the human body is designed. So, you know, um, I'm really thankful for all the people who called me up when they found out about my mom passing and everything. Just so encouraging. Yeah. And so, anyway, I'm thankful. I'm kind of sad, but, man, it's, yeah. it's great it's to be here. It's kind of the gamut of emotions in the it's last a week or so you've been going through. Passing up your mom, yep. you know, that's yep. got to be heavy on yep. your heart no matter what. And then the elation of your son yeah, graduating man, this, and going to TCU. All of that, man. man. It, it's, been a, it's been a roller coaster for sure, but I'm, I'm thankful that Give your wife it. a shout out. What's I her name? Milani is my beautiful yeah, wife. Right on. She's in the studio. Just want to say <laughs> I love you, baby, and thank you for absolutely being the better half of this relationship. And for me, I understand how important it is to have a strong, beautiful woman that is able to help wow. me when I'm not strong. That's good stuff. Thank you for sharing that. Absolutely. All brother. right. Now let's uh, switch gears a little let's bit, man. It. You're going to make me cry. Don't cry. I'll be good. Sure. Tito, Tito, hold Tito. Hand, you give me the tissue, Tito. <laughs> 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 yeah, but let's switch gears let's a little bit. Uh, you know, we're receivers, so yep. we care about what's going on with the Cowboys, yep. of course, and we care about that position. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, Dez is uh, not happy mm -hmm. right now. He doesn't think $12.8 is enough. Right. He wants that long-term deal. Your thoughts on that? My thoughts from playing two things. First of all, he's, from my understanding, he's in capable hands as far as his agent is concerned. Tom Condon yes. is no newbie yes. to this game. Yeah, they think it's Rock Nation, but it's more Tom Condon exactly. who's n negotiating. Absolutely handling that. So. Yeah. That, that's the first thing. So I'm looking at who's telling him, who's giving him the facts, who's giving him the Good information that's making him make decisions. Absolutely. The second thing is what I tell all young guys when I meet them, never violate your conscience when it comes to making decisions. The reason I say that is because the 12 years I played professional football, every time a guy would violate their conscience in one way or the other, so you take a guy like Russell Wilson, he's like, hey, 
if you don't want to get the numbers we want to get, I'm fine with playing how I'm playing and what's going to happen. I feel like the best is going to come. He would violate his conscience if he did something to say, I'm not going to be here, I'm not going to uh, participate or storm out the building, all those things. Dez, he feels, based on the right information that Condon has given him, mm -hmm. he might feel at times he's being disrespected or he's right. put in right. the time on the field, he showed you what he can do. Hey, let's, you have the ability to pay me, pay me this. So my simple looking at it is saying, Dez, whoever, don't violate your conscience. When guys violate their conscience, when they get in the locker room right. for that season, yeah. it becomes cancerous. And this is a team, the Cowboys right now, mm -hmm. they have all of the pieces in place, I believe, to make another successful run at the Super Bowl and to put somebody in a position where they would violate their conscience and become cancerous to the team mm -hmm. and the... the, the the, the harmony that they had in yeah. the locker room. They're taking would be a risk by that, doing that, right? Very, the Cowboy organization, that's, that's Jason Garrett, risky. all of them. So people would, on the outside, look in and say, hey, man, that's a lot of money. How are you turning this down? Why don't yeah. you just come play yeah. with it's, it's not quite that simple, even though it could be, but it's not quite that simple. So I say, don't violate your conscience yeah. when it comes to making these type of decisions. Well, that's a good point, and uh, that's good information. I hope Dez watches this show. Amen. If he does, he needs to get with you no, no. and, uh, <laughs> no. and uh, hear that, because that's what, what it's more about, you know? It absolutely and, is. And, uh, you know, you're going up against the uh, big beast, the NFL. You got to understand that, too, who you, you're, th who th you're right. fighting. Now, that's why... And they hold all the cars. And they have the leverage, That's, but the only reason that makes me feel comfortable is you have a seasoned veteran yes. who has marquee players throughout the league. He's not make. he's a businessman, the agent, yes. Tom Condon. He's not making just flippant decisions. He's making decisions based on facts, based on numbers, based on percentages. So if he's giving you the information and saying this is how we should approach it, this is the strategy we should take. I trust that. Yes, I trust it too. I trust you, brother. Thank you, brother. <laughs> that's, a, that's good insight. Play with Toronto, play with the LA Raiders, the Oakland Raiders, the Carolina Panthers, but he's best known as a former <laughs> Dallas Cowboy <laughs> when he got here in 1999 and played to 2001. 363 catches, 5,295 yards, and 30 touchdowns in the NFL. That's the Rocket, part of Drew Pearson Live. We appreciate you, Thank brother. You, brother. Yes, sir. God bless you. Stay tuned for more of the show, and we'll be right back after this.